Oh man, if you're wondering why I haven't put on the uh, button up shirt and the tie, that is because it is too warm in this room. I let the heater run for too long. And I don't feel like doing it. So yeah, that, that uh, just the jacket because it's already warm enough in here. Hello and welcome everyone. It is I, or Shien. We're back again this week with another video because first, foremost i want to thank each and every one of you who have sent me some amazing reading material over the course of the past couple of weeks as a thank you for christmas and i have put the christmas wish list uh which is just an amazon wish list uh you guys can go to it or not it's not mandatory at all i it's just there for you to enjoy anyways so in case you guys may not know i'm a huge fan of reading uh i've been catching up especially when it comes to the don Mach series the volume 15 just came out at the beginning of this month I have not been able to open this one I've been kind of waiting that is because this came first and this was a gift by none other than Jonathan Bullicher who had sent it to me at the beginning of the month and I have been reading I've only gotten past about chapter one there will be a lot more about this later I would hope to make a video of but I am enjoying this if you guys want to go ahead and check it out I'll leave a link down below but please do give this a read I love the Familia Chronicle stuff it is just more story that you can immerse yourself in I do just love this content. However, I added something else on that wish list. Actually, I've added a few things on that wish list. <laughs> oh, but I've added something else on that wish list. I wanted to add more manga into my collection. And in case you guys may not know, uh, one manga in particular has been something of my favorite. This here is volume one of Way of the House Husband. Way of the House Husband is getting an anime. And I'm super excited for it because this is just a hilarious, hilarious manga. And I cannot wait to see how that incorporates into its anime adaptation. I am looking for to this one so very much and there are a couple of previews that you can see which are live action previews for the manga itself and they are really funny because it just captures the essence of this of this entire manga I love it but we're not here for way of the house husband another manga recently has been uh, working up to its anime adaptation they had just casted some of the characters inside of it so I decided to throw myself into the nightmare that is don't toy with me miss nagatoro <sighs> okay so here's the thing um i i've heard about this manga i've, I've heard about the stories that have been coming out of this manga for uh, well over about a year i haven't been able to read it mainly because it's just not a story that I wanted to immerse myself into it's it's just one of those things where like I felt like I was gonna be immediately uncomfortable with it but I added it anyways also uh, just want to let everyone know a special thank you to Tristan day Sheving who uh, who sent it to me on Amazon and I I'm a little I was always wary of it there's a reason why I only asked for volume one and like it, it doesn't confirm my suspicions all it does is just reaffirm one of the things that I already knew about it so first and foremost the story of this manga is is basically it's a high school setting the main character is straight fucking virgin no chad energy whatsoever and then this girl shows up and straight fucking bullies him. And she does that through the entire series. That's the story. I hope you enjoy because volume one literally makes the main character fucking cry. The entirety of it is just basically this high school anime drama comedy. And in order to make it seem like it's special, they added in this cunt. I, I don't like her. I, I legitimately don't like her. Like, I don't, like, your main character is a villain. And, like, you, she's, since she's on the cover of pretty much every single one of the manga volumes, this is probably one of those things where I have to kind of go in tentatively. And so when I read volume one, I understand why people like it. Don't ever get me wrong, I don't think that this is a bad manga. I don't think this is a bad story. 
I just hate a character which is good for your story. Listen, after reading through the first 14 novels of Don Machi, you gotta have a very despicable villain that you know people are going to hate and learn to hate for the course of the time that they are there for the story. One of the biggest problems I think, especially when it comes to Don Machi and its overarching story is that it moves its villains along way too fast, which is not something that I appreciate. However, it does tell a great overarching story of the main character in and of itself. However, I wish that they would also acknowledge that the main character is the main character and would actually make figures of him because I'm sick and tired of looking at all my Hestia models. That's a minor complaint though. So the main character and also our villain is basically a bully and spends the entirety of their time just bullying the main character that's I, so and i know i'm kind of rehashing this i don't think that that's a bad idea i just do not like that and which makes a very good villain However, I'm relatively sure that there is going to be a lot more to the story, considering that I managed to finish this first volume within probably three hours. I subsequently went onto Amazon and I bought the last four volumes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's how invested I am into figuring out what's going on here. And so I'm going to pretty much have uh, volume one through four and I, not exactly sure where to go off from there. This is a nightmare story. I, I It's just basically high school and one bully. And if it was done to anybody else, they would have just called this girl a cunt and left it at that. Sad to have to make that point. Mainly because if you make a very dislikable character and then suddenly everyone likes that character, it kind of makes the story seem a little dry at times I, and I can explain it like this. One of the big things about Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro is that it is revolved around a bully and its victim. And when it comes down to it, the bully can actually seem very nice. Nagatoro can actually come off as very sweet and caring sometimes, but she is more preemptive to the idea of messing with the main character, which terrifies me as somebody who has been bullied a lot. Because me, I would respond in exception to their actions violently, which isn't a bad idea, honestly. I've dealt with my number of bullies, especially in high school. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and make this a whole thing about the fact that the main character is a bully and that that's all bad. No, this is a story. Let's stick ourselves back into the reality that this is a story and that hopefully, as I continue to read, that the main character actually learns to persist and have more courage because when your main character cries within the first half of volume one, that's something that's, that's just, that's bad for business. That's bad for business. That I'm not sure if, uh, I'm not sure if Virgin will ever grow into a chat at that point. I know I'm using memes as a way to describe my problem here, but you know, that's kind of what I do, right? So do I think Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro uh, is a bad manga? Oh, hell no. No, I think it was geniusly written and it tells a story to its accuracy. This is what it's like to be bullied. And so when it comes down to it, I can't actually wait to read the rest of the manga. So that way I can actually see if the main character grows. If I don't feel like the main character is growing as we move forward into the essence of this character, then I feel like we're going to be stuck in losing something while we are going along the way because one of the big things is that eventually you're going to get tired of the bullying either you're going to respond in a very violent way or you're going to respond in a very depressive way which is something that i would not want for the main character as for nagatoro i don't know why people like her i mean i understand why people like her like design wise I understand why people like her because it seems like she's a bit of a tricky manx, but I hope you don't like her because of her actions. 
That's really one of those really big things when it comes to talking about why people like villains. I think some of the best villains have been played by some of the best actors and have provided some of the most amazing performances and that's how we end up connecting to a villain. And that's why we like that villain so very much. There's a reason why a lot of people like Loki from the Avengers movies and the fact that he had a very decent redemption arc only for him to be, well, spoilers if you haven't seen the Avengers movie go go watch uh, go watch Infinity Wars <laughs> anyway that's that's that thing you, you know there's a reason why you like a villain is because they play a very imperative role to the conflict of the main character considering the environment of this manga I'd imagine something might end up changing relatively soon especially when it comes uh, when it comes to the story in and of itself, but that being noted, it's not something that I dislike It's just something that I feel is a little dangerous Which you know, I think anybody can agree that we enjoy a little bit of danger and a little bit of ooh This is uh, this is kind of bad, but it's also kind of fun And that's the mentality a lot of people end up having when it comes to a story like this So do I think that Nagatoro is bad? Oh, no, definitely not and I'll keep telling you guys that and the fact that it's managed to accumulate four whole manga volumes, all being English translated and sold on Amazon currently right now, this isn't bad. I just think that with the character that we see, the character is a bad character. Not in, uh, not in by, not in by design or by activity, just that they are bad in by personality. They're mean. They're mean. They're bad. They, they 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 push people around, and it's funny to them, and that's the way that they're designed. And hopefully, I would like to see more about the story. And so, I cannot wait to get the last three volumes and read them and kind of get caught up with the story because I think that would be relatively interesting. So, yep, that's it. I think that's it. That's all I got. Anyways, this was a hell experience. I can't wait to experience it again. I cannot wait to have the last three volumes of this goddamn manga in my hands and i also cannot wait to see this main character just get either better or the same or worse i want to see where the narrative goes and if you guys are interested in checking out the manga i'll leave a link down below to bookwalker i know that i ordered these on amazon but i wish i had known about bookwalker a little bit earlier that's all i gotta say like like this ain't even a sponsor i'm just saying go to bookwalker goddamn but yeah so that's me that's my complaints those are my problems i hope you like them uh, we'll be back again next week with another video that's going to be a bit more different. It's going to be about memes. Yeah. Eh. Uh, check it out. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to note. Uh, look, it's a cocoa patch. My wood patch. Go check them out. I like it. Bye!